And here we go. Hello, everybody. This is Enrico speaking from uh, the Reply Challenges team. And uh, we are more than happy to start this first webinar live on Reply You Facebook page. We are uh, here, I mean, about to start with the Reply Investment Challenge. That is the uh, second challenge of the year in 2020, the second one after the Reply Code Challenge. Let me remind you, there's been a great success. More than 20,000 coders all over the world participated with us in playing on the Reply uh, Challenges platform. Uh, we had it on March uh, 12, and right now we are ready to start with a new one. Because as you already know, we opened the registration for the Reply Investment Challenge, and uh, we are more than happy to uh, uh, say that uh, few in a few hours the registration will close. But right now, we already have more than 8,100 registered people in the Reply Investment Challenge. This has been the first uh, ever experiment, the, our first ever uh, challenge dedicated to this topic. So uh, we are, I mean, quite proud uh, of it. Uh, I have to thanks uh, out of uh, reply. Of course, the investment challenge has been powered, is powered by uh, Banca Generali and the uh, MIP uh, of the Politecnico di Milano. We are, uh, I mean, very proud out of it, but uh, of course, I'm not alone here. Uh, I, many, uh, many friends are connected together with me and uh, uh, I can uh, present you all of them, actually. We have Mr. Paolo Fabris, partner in Avantage Reply and part of the Reply Titanium team, the, the experts, Reply experts in finance and uh, uh, yeah, finance topic. Hello, Paolo, how are you? Yes, Paolo, switch, to, uh, uh, switch on the mic. It helps for sure. You're right, for sure. Right. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Thank you so, much. Hi uh, there. No, no, everything's fine. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, for sure, uh, this is going to be uh, a challenge, probably not only for the participant, but also for uh, ourselves. Uh, it's going to be quite uh, a tough uh, situation to face. Uh, as you said, more than 8,100 participants is going to be uh, as well job for everybody. So probably uh, is going to uh, take a lot of effort in managing all this, uh, this, uh, uh, this work. Uh, it has to be, uh, to be done. Uh, I, don't want, I don't know if you want to go through the main contents right now or if you- No, we, we can. Thank you. Of course, we can, uh, uh, we can go on in presenting the people connected yeah. together since we already shown and actually we are leveraging on this very beautiful virtual background platform where you see how many different colors we already have in our screens. Uh, so I will move to Eleonora Simonini, always from Avantage Reply. Hello, Eleonora. Can you hear us? Yeah. Hello to everybody. And I'm very happy to be here. Uh... <laughs> online and uh, I think that investment challenge will be very challenging so um, it's, uh, it's important it's, uh, uh, you, it's an opportunity to register that you can register until midnight I think and uh, I'm going to see you I think uh, uh, the next week uh, because from Monday uh, to the Friday night there will be inputs uh, you will, sorry, you will see uh, the event uh, on the platform, and uh, yeah, that's all. Very good. And uh, um, Paolo and Eleonora are part of this. I already mentioned, but uh, since we start from uh, since a few minutes, we can repeat that uh, uh, the Titanium team is this team of repliers actually focus on on shaping this. Uh, uh, new investment challenge, and together with them, uh, I have another friend of mine, Emilio, from Avantage IT. Hello, Emilio. Hello, hello, everyone. Uh, good afternoon. How are you? Yeah, really fine. Uh, a new challenge is starting, uh, and all we are so excited about this. Uh, so this is an adventure that uh, we do all together, and I think uh, it will be really a fantastic experience to for anyone who would like to join us and uh, ship for another travel with us what do you think Enrico 
Uh, we, we, we are, yeah, absolutely fine. And uh, excited about that. I would say that we, we are adding a kind of layer in the complexity of the thing since all of us are at home. So that, that part of the game might be another additional level of, uh, uh, yeah, you mean, it, it's harder, even more yeah, than it's of than course. You. But anyhow, Don, uh, uh, we are not afraid at all, and we are more than uh, uh, ready to start. Actually, on uh, um, Reply You Facebook page, we have uh, already we are already collecting some kind of questions. I want to say hello to all the people connecting right now. We are around 75 people, and Lorenzo is already asking a thing that is, good evening, everybody. I'm interested about investment challenge. I register myself. Very good. Well done, Lorenzo. I'm a bit curious about how many participants will be. Can I know this? Yes, of course. We said it at the beginning, but we will repeat it, of course. We have right now more than 8,100 registrations on the platform, so people ready to play with us. And I can add another number that uh, we haven't disclosed so far that is then more than four. 40% of the registration, so more than 40% uh, of the 8,000 people registered have already trained themselves on BG Saxo platform. Uh, so experiencing the kind of, uh, of training they will be um, they will be it will be useful, of course, in order to play in the investment challenge. And since I mentioned BG Saxo, I would like to welcome in this webinar Mr. Eduardo Cazzullo. Hello, Eduardo. Hello Enrico, hello everyone, and it's nice uh, to, see, to see you and uh, to be part of uh, this team, at least for this one hour. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm here to, su to support you, to support the team and to support all the participants uh, to the uh, challenge uh, in order to uh, give you more support on uh, the platform and on the instruments that uh, at the moment and in the future which is also we'll uh, uh, present uh, in uh, our platform. That's great. I would like to 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 thank you. I mean, it, it, during this webinar, you'll be the the I would say the delegate of uh, Banca Generali and BG Saxo in general. And we'd like to thank, of course, our partners in these uh, uh, in this challenge specifically, even because it's actually the first reply challenge. I would say completely shaped together with uh, uh, with main partners and and part of them. The, the, um, okay, we are collecting questions, so I, we have to speed up because the time is not that much and uh, uh, we can go on and the, most of all, this is the an ask us anything session. So feel free to post your question on the Facebook chat or using the Telegram channel that we already opened uh, about reply challenges. But uh, uh, mm, before getting back to Paolo, I would like to say hello to Mr. Davide Cagnatti, part of the reply Social Network team. Ciao, Davide. Hello, everyone. Hi there. You, you are, uh, we involve you since you are uh, possibly the, the, the one with the, uh, I would say, with the fresher knowledge regarding investment since you are a student. Still. Thanks, Leonard. Yes, I, I'm an economic student myself, and I, I'm glad to be here introducing you this experience because uh, uh, I think it's really important for us as students to have something that is beyond theory. Sometimes we study these sort of things, but Another thing is to put our hands on this thing and try to use them and try to see what we can do with our knowledge. And it can be a great opportunity also for younger people uh, during these uh, difficult days of staying at home and so on to spend some time doing something meaningful and learning something that could be very useful for our future career or passions. Thanks. That's great, and thank you very much for, uh, I mean, all of you of, uh, for taking part in this. Uh, before starting answering questions, I would like to repeat that this is the first Ask Us Anything webinar uh, dedicated to the investment challenge, but in the next weeks, we'll have more than, uh, more than others uh, webinars related to reply challenges in general, and specifically about the investment challenge, um, because uh, the game will start on March the 30th until April the 9th, you'll, the game will be on. So participants will play on the, on the platform and uh, um, we'll have uh, every two or three days, please check the calendar or reply you, you Facebook page. We'll have a kind of uh, progress webinars, okay? So we'll give you hints and advice about the game. So keep in touch, stay tuned with us. We'll be back in these kind of formats, of webinar formats. And by following the next webinars, you will have some kinds of 
tips and tricks to, to, to play better and to perform at your best in order to, uh, yeah, to win the challenge, of course. The, um, okay, questions are so many that we have to start answering. So I would like to involve again Paolo uh, in, uh, um, in, the, in the call, in the webinar, of course. Uh, Paolo, would you like to add something regarding, in general, the aim of the, the goal of this challenge, why we are here as Reply and Banca Generali uh, why have you, uh, we have shaped this kind of challenge? And then I will give you another question from the from the people there. Yeah, Enrico. Uh, I mean, the uh, the objective, the target, the main target that we uh, had in mind when we shaped the the challenge, this challenge uh, that we call the investment challenge and not the trading challenge, is to let's say. Uh, propose all the participants uh, uh, a different way of looking uh, to the trading and hedging uh, activity. Uh, the, it's very important to distinguish in these times uh, when uh, we see a lot of fluctuations uh, in the markets that something it's trading, something it's investment, investing, and another thing is uh, uh, hedging on uh, the financial activities. Uh, what we focus uh, in shaping the challenge is the uh, hedging component. By hedging, I mean protecting our, uh, our uh, money, our uh, assets so the the challenge will uh, let's say will focus on uh, uh, pushing uh, the participants to uh, get two main objectives the first one is to protect their capital uh, each participant will be given one million euro uh, uh, at the beginning of the online challenge and uh, uh, they will have to protect the activities, the assets that will be given. And uh, at the same time, because we don't like only to, uh, let's say, to protect what we have, but we want also to uh, enlarge our wealth. Typically, what we will be uh, focusing in will be to uh, try to take advantage, advantage on the uh, fluctuations of the market. In these days, the market is very uh, volatile, as we can see. Uh, yesterday uh, it went up 5%, today it's going down 3%. Uh, we have seen the CISO of the last two weeks. Uh, I mean, so there's a lot of opportunity. There are a lot of opportunities out there uh, to take advantage of. So uh, the idea is to push uh, the participants to look at the market movements in order to uh, leverage on the different situation that are going to uh, be uh, faced. Uh, at the same time, we have, let's say, uh, other uh, targets in mind. The first one, for sure, is the training. Uh, we had uh, prepared a lot of training material that would be useful to work uh, to, uh, to understand how to face the challenge, how to face the different financial instruments that will be given to the participants. Uh, there are uh, financial instruments that are not the common, the mostly common used and available uh, derivatives in order to hedge their capital. Uh, probably the most important one uh, will be uh, the CFD, the contract for difference, uh, which is a, a kind of, uh, let's say, future-like uh, derivative, but much more powerful, uh, and it can be used to hedge their, uh, their positions. Uh, there will be a challenge, so it's a competition, so you don't want just to protect your assets, but you want to uh, expand them, to enlarge them, to gain more at the same time, and uh, because we are always thinking that money is a very serious thing, uh, this is also a kind of training in order to uh, understand how to move in the real world. So here yeah, yeah, uh, you, we are moving. Yes, that, to, yeah. great that you mentioned that since we, um, I would say that you, you even already answered some of the questions they are pending kind of uh, how to behave in this uh, uh, time of high volatility. Uh, there were some uh, uh, some more related to the general aim of the, of the challenge. Uh, we, I don't know if you were, are coming to that point, uh, but I would like to to uh, to introduce the learning goal of, of the challenge as itself. Do you do you agree, Paolo? Yes, of course. 
All right, so maybe we can involve uh, Emilio yeah. too in the in the conversation, since uh, I would say he is uh, together with Eleonora too the, uh, the, the the master in chief of the the learning contents of the platform uh, by visiting challenges.reply.com and connecting to the um, yes to the platform. Of course, you will see not only the chance to participating in the challenge, but even of course, of seeing some kind of learning materials. Uh, Emilio, would you like to tell us something more about that? Of course, Enrico, there is a learning portal that uh, has been thinked only to support all the players that would like to join. Uh, there is material to cover any type of topic. We have um, projected, we have built together with MIP, the Politecnico di Milano, uh, university some of this material we have prepared some or other in order to support all the types of students that would like to join this travel not only uh, the students that uh, have, um, have studied these uh, topics and are so powerful about it but uh, also all the students that would like to try would like uh, to join, uh, to have an experience uh, and find uh, some topics that may, may involve them in order uh, to study and continue practicing the financial topic. Mm, the material is, uh, has been structured in different levels of difficulty. There is uh, a basic level of, uh, of support that uh, is guaranteed to the students that would like to participate. But also there is some other videos, some other documents that have been structured for advanced students that uh, are really strong with this and would like to go deep on some topics. So in general, we can say that uh, even if you are a newbie, okay, like me, or even if you are an expert, there are kind of different layers in which you can uh, focus and you can learn, anyhow, you can learn something, okay? Both the ways, both the kind of experts, expertise level you have, right? Of course, of course, Enrico. Everyone can study. Everyone can learn something new from okay, this that, learning that's, portal. That, that's important even because uh, in general, the reply challenges thing as a platform divided in different sectors, kind of coding, cybersecurity, investment, creativity, and so on. Uh, it's a way to learn something, okay? So it's a different way to learn something, even through competition, but always in a matter of uh, getting new competencies and, and trying to perform at your best, best, based on the things you know. It is one very important thing since we are Reply, a digital consulting company, and we want to get in touch with the best talents uh, worldwide. We have uh, uh, people asking pretty much kind of everything on the, on the chat on Facebook. So I would like to give you um, the, the time to have a look. Uh, again, we are saying hello to everybody. Right after 15 minutes, we started this live webinar. We are live. It's 5.15 minutes Central European time. Uh, we are here for this Ask Us Anything session dedicated to the Reply Investment Challenge that is about to start on Monday. Those are the last hours to register. Registration will end tonight. So if you have friends who uh, might be not aware of this challenge dedicated to the investment, please spread the voice. At midnight, we will close the registrations and on Monday, the game will start. Um, I would like to make a step forward involving maybe Eleonora uh, regarding the, um, yeah, the mechanism of this challenge since many questions we are receiving are dedicated to that. Um, and uh, uh, maybe by start describing the, in general, the, the, the two things, the, the two uh, environments we are about to um, we are about to describe, we are playing on two different fields, right? One is challenges.reply.com. The second one is BG Saxo. Eleonora, can you tell us something more about that? Uh, yeah. Um, basically, as uh, Paolo mentioned, this is a uh, unhedging uh, competition. It's not only an investment one. And you have to enter uh, in two different platforms to play the game, to play the challenge, uh, because you have to... Um, I can uh, try to see to to share my screen now. Yes, okay. Please. 
you uh, have to enter in the reply uh, platform and now um, uh, and uh, precisely on your challenge uh, page uh, in this moment uh, you can see that there are um, some uh, uh, questions uh, with the relative answer, what is the goal, what is the challenge, but uh, from Monday uh, the page will be different, there will be a calendar, an agenda, and every morning at 9 um, you, uh, you have the opportunity to, to of course enter on, the, on this page and you will know in advance at which hour the inputs will be uh, revealed, will, be, uh, will, uh, will appear on the, on the platform. And uh, uh, at the same time, uh, to, to have your position, uh, you have to enter um, through the bottom, go to BG Saxo, into the BG Saxo uh, Trader Go, as you can see from my screen. And uh, here uh, you're free to, to uh, look for the right instruments and do your hedging. All right. Those are the two, let me say, main uh, uh, main environment in which we will uh, we will play together. We are receiving many questions related to. Uh, I mean, guys, I, I hope you have uh, you are taking a look at them. We have questions related to cryptocurrencies. I would like to 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 to, to review these and let me know who wants to answer. I, uh, Mattia is asking, hi everybody, I could not train much on the platform, your bad Mattia, but you have still some hours to do it, and I could not see all the different financial instruments. Do you have any cryptocurrencies continuous futures available? Question open to anyone who wants to answer. Well, uh, uh, go on, Eleonora. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I will uh, simply say that we don't have a cryptocurrency and neither uh, continuous future. But I, I maybe Eduardo have something. Uh... Well, at the moment uh, we don't have any uh, instruments related to cryptocurrency, uh, except for uh, uh, Bitcoin uh, tracker that are uh, ETN, okay, Bitcoin and. Uh, other uh, ETN uh, trackers. If you want, I can share my screen and show you. Yep. Okay. Do you see me? Okay, great. If you, for example, BTC, you will see, sorry, Bitcoin, you will see the different tracker that you find. And you find also uh, the stock index, but it's not tradable. If you want to trade, you can trade it uh, by uh, ETN at the moment. That are on uh, the uh, uh, on the Ixomia, that's uh, the stock exchange uh, of uh, uh, Sweden. Okay, and and so. <laughs> okay, so th 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 that's an answer to to Matthias question. We have uh, uh, I have another one related to BG Saxo. So uh, Eduardo, maybe I I it's up to you about BG Saxo platform. Is there any way to hide positions that are already closed? A question from um, our friend Augusto. Uh, to hide the position that are already closed. Well, uh, yes, in the um, main platform, uh, the real one, it's, uh, it's uh, possible. In the uh, position, in the um, uh, virtual one, at the moment you see position and orders. If I close this one, as you can see, you're not sharing the screen anymore, Eduardo. Oh, sorry. So, yes, but probably. My bad. Better. My bad. My bad. My bad. Sorry. No worries. We are live. Mm -hmm. So yes. it's the, the, the good okay. part of it. <laughs> as you can see in the notification, right? In the, as you can see in the notification up above, you can see the trade confirmation at a boat and a sold uh, one ETF on uh, UK 100. Okay. And as you can see here, it's closed. Okay. And I can do nothing else. Uh, if you want, uh, uh, at the moment, uh, it's not possible to hide uh, the, uh, um, these, uh, uh, these activities. They will be either the day later, okay, the, the day after the, uh, tomorrow, basically. Um, but in the real platform, it's possible to, uh, to hide uh, the uh, closed position. All right. I have. Uh, I would like to 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 involve uh, maybe still related to um, to uh, the BG Saxo platform. 
we have, uh, um, I mean, no, th that one maybe is more general. So up to, to anybody who wants to answer. Hi, everybody. Marco is asking, in this situation, how is it, how is it important to protect or guarantee our cash available? Is it, is it clear as a question? Not sure. Uh, it's uh, clear. Uh, probably I, I, I try to get an answer, a reading and an answer. Uh, how to protect the cash, the available cash on the account. Um, the, the, we can anticipate something maybe on Rico related to the structure of the challenge itself. So yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, we're not going to spoil anything, but um, the, the the investment challenge will be structured in the following way. You will be, as a participant, uh, called to perform uh, the treasurer of a major international corporation. So uh, you will be given uh, an amount of cash, as we said, 1 million euros, uh, uh, that is going to compose your basic portfolio. Uh, moving from there, uh, taking the moving from there, you're going to uh, be given different events every day, every uh, few hours in a day, depending on the situations, uh, that are going, going to require you to protect your cash, but not only your cash, but also the activity of the corporation. So your corporation, as all the corporations, mm, is going to uh, be in touch with uh, suppliers, with clients, uh, with investors, uh, with the market. So you will have to hedge your position against all these uh, possible situations. And the cash available in your portfolio, is, it has to be used to do that. At the end of the day, what you will see uh, is uh, the net position of your portfolio uh, where you will have your cash available, still available, uh, and uh, uh, the open positions you are, uh, you are managing in your, in your account. So uh, possibly uh, the margins, for example, that are you are going to, uh, to use to protect your positions or the open derivatives or the stocks or bonds you might have uh, bought or sold, et cetera. So this is going to be the way the challenge is going to be uh, performed. So uh, you have to protect more the position of your company than the, of your cash. Hope this answers. Uh, I, I, th I think so. Anyhow, the, we, the, the, the chat is open. So if anything is missing, you, you may, I mean, people are, uh, watching this webinar might correct us. Uh, again, um, we are live 50, 25 minutes after five o'clock. Uh, this this is uh, the uh, Reply Investment Challenge team, let me say, the people behind this investment challenge. We are uh, doing this first Ask Us Anything session in order to, uh, I mean, to, to boost the, 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 the final hours of registrations and even to answer possible doubts that you uh, people may have. We have Silvia asking us another thing that is, until, until which hour will it be possible to trade on the platform at the end of the day? This is the, a part of the rule of the game, guys. Um, I mean, there, there is a time limit to trade during the game in, in the day, or um, who wants to answer? Uh, Enrico, no, I can tell you that there is no uh, handy time. The platform is always open, and uh, only the, um, the rankings is mainly based on your activity done until uh, 10 p.m., but you can trade even uh, at night uh, w when you have time, basically, uh, uh, of course, from Monday until the 9th of February, not, uh, uh, not after the time. Okay, there are many um, questions related to, uh, I mean, the, the mechanism of the game, and maybe we will answer uh, even mentioning different kind of aspects of the, of the challenge. Uh, I would like to read you this question from uh, Tommaso, who is asking, is there any preferable strategy to build an, effe an efficient wallet in a pandemic situation? Since I, I just the, the thing I can, I can uh, repeat again is that uh, the, the behavior of the markets will be the real one. We are not, not, not faking anything. The, 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 the behaviors of the market will be the real one, right? Correct. So, so again, th th that's the moment we are living in, sadly, of course, but we are playing 
in, in an emergency situation, anyhow, this is an online game, so we are allowed to do it, of course, and, uh, but we are playing in the, in the real world. So, Paolo, uh, would you like yeah. to answer? Yeah, uh, you anticipated that. I mean, we are working, we are, uh, let's say, uh, leading this, uh, this exercise in the real market, in the real world. So uh, we cannot predict what is going to be the best, uh, the best strategy to be applied. Uh, of course, uh, the extremely high volatility of these days is going to, uh, let's say, help uh taking advantage of the different positions that will be available in the market of course the general rule of thumb is that if you a hundred percent hedge your position you're not going to lose anything but you're not also to uh, going to gain anything so probably uh the best strategy if i can give a general piece of advice is to try to, let's say, hedge uh, a certain amount of your position, but not, not all your position. So to, uh, let's say, leave some room for uh, volatility in your portfolio. Uh, of course, you have to be careful enough to leave the room for the positive volatility because there will be a lot of negative volatility as well so uh this is the general rule of thumb i don't know if uh, eduardo uh you want to add something but this would be my piece of advice oh i agree i agree with you paolo and uh, talking about um, volatility we can also maybe add that in the platform are available different uh instruments to trade the volatility, to trade the, the VIX, for example, or the boost stocks that are, uh, well, there are uh, instruments uh, related uh, basically to volatility. And in these days are uh, really, really, really tight. And uh, the problem the, in, in, during these days, it's really a good uh, chance to trade this kind of asset because you can edge your portfolio basically win, uh, with one, uh, with one uh, product uh, installed. Okay, thank you guys for, for answering the questions. We, um, I have to, uh, I mean, they are reminding me that the organization team that uh, the final round planned on April the 23rd will be online of course, due to the emergency and the situation we already have mentioned. So as you see, it's a work in progress. Somehow we have to react and passing in a fully digital mode in order to, uh, to maintain this aspect. Um, uh, then we are reminding everybody to accept the terms and condition exposed on the, um, on the platform. And uh, um, we reach half of our time. It's fun. 30 right now again we are here to answer all the questions appearing here on facebook um, for the investment challenge the first investment challenge organized by reply and banca generali and the mit politecnico di milano uh, so people feel free don't be shy ask everything you have in your mind uh, i have a new question for you guys from simone who's saying hello hi there ciao simone when i open a position on forex i don't find lots units as many trading platform, but a money size. Is it possible to switch in lot? I hope I read it right. Let me know. No, it's right. It's right. Uh, well, no. Possible because uh, uh, the um, the value of the uh, of the platform is that you have an uh, euros uh, of uh, your portfolio. You can uh, you can use uh, uh, the money and not uh, and not uh, a lot because lots are uh, odd. Yes, there might be some uh, issues over, with the uh, Eduardo's uh, connection. Eduardo, can you hear your, us? Uh, your portfolio, your entire portfolio. It's difficult to use a lot. Yeah, can you hear you? Yes, we, we had some uh, we had some uh, uh, delay in the communication. Maybe 
maybe affect uh, some connection issues i would say i hope that most of the uh, of your answer uh, has been uh, understandable let me say um anyhow we uh, we may proceed with a new question and then see if uh, uh, if we have any other problem uh, giovanni is asking another thing that is will it be possible to order transactions since the night between 29 and the 30 so i will i guess it's related to when the game will start uh, actually I is it a question for uh, eleonora yeah. and emilio maybe eleonora, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it is possible um, because we uh, start to um, count your trade uh, from midnight of 29. So, uh, yes, I, um, uh, I'm 99% sure that uh, you can enter your trading uh, from Sunday 29 and not uh, only starting from 30. Oh, okay, the, um, I'm uh, reading you another one. The, uh, sorry, I miss you for a second. Uh, Nicola is asking an interesting question, I guess, for everybody. That is, uh, uh, which elements will be considered to form the ranking? So I would say, what is in general the, the way uh, the challenge will, 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 will give a winner at the end or somehow will select the first uh, the, the, the top 100 that will move to the digital round? Maybe I can try to answer. Yes, please, Emilio. Yes, um, the, there are uh, some uh, really simple rule, rules uh, that uh, affect uh, the final ranking. In particular, who will win? Will win the person that uh, has uh, learned more? So in particular, who has the, the bigger portfolio value after the closing day, after the closing day. There are, during the, there are two steps, as all we know. During the first step, so when uh, the, the people uh, will uh, use their abilities uh, to enter in the final ranking for the finals of the 24, uh, the first 100 people who has learned more, so as uh, the biggest portfolio value will, ac will access to the finals. And on the finals, uh, the best five performers, uh, considering uh, always uh, the portfolio value, will uh, win. So it's important uh, uh, to make the best operations and trades uh, that everyone uh, would like to think about because uh, as uh, uh, Paolo, you and Enrico, everyone are saying there is a lot of volatility on the market and uh, it's important to perform and uh, use all our knowledges and our learning material to perform and win. All right. Th th thank you, Emilio. I would like to make a step forward. Uh, and the question is open to uh, everybody. Uh, many uh, people are asking uh, um, what, 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 which kind of penalties and, uh, and events or issues uh, people will going to face uh, in the game. Uh, stated that, as Paolo said before, we are not going to spoil anything. OK, because no spoiler at all. Uh, but May we say something kind of, I don't know, an example or a kind of categories of dif different kind of uh, uh, penalties and events that the players are, uh, will face during the game? Yeah, um, Enrico, uh, just to be very straightforward, yep. uh, we said that the challenge is going to be placed in a real world environment. In a real world environment, uh, I mean, what Emilio anticipated is for sure important and uh, essential. But at the end of the day, uh, if you have more money in your portfolio, you are better than a guy that has less money. I, I would say even for me, that, and I'm not an expert, this is clear. <laughs> <laughs> so 
the uh, the bottom line will be uh, that the winner at the at the end of the challenge will be uh, the best performer, uh, meaning the guy with the highest value in his portfolio. By highest value of the portfolio, we are considering all the components of the portfolio, so the cash available, the margin available, uh, and the positions that are uh, in the market, mark to market at the moment of the closing. Uh, apart from this, uh, so always to be very focused on the real world environment, uh, the, the participant will be given different uh, events that it will have to manage. Uh, we are not going to spoil which one uh, the event will be, but uh, they will have to manage these events. Uh, as we said, a real treasurer of a corporation uh, has the, posi the, the, the possibility to, ch to choose which uh, position has to be hedged, which one has to be left to the market. So we are not going to force anybody to uh, do something. Uh, it's in the general possibility of a treasurer to decide what to hedge and what not to hedge. However, given that we want to somehow also uh, force people to trade and to experience, to take advantage of this possibility, we're going to introduce uh, a couple of uh, uh, penalties. The first one will be related to the number of trades that our people are performing. So uh, you will be given, for example, uh, let me say uh, a number, 100 events you have to react at least on uh, a certain amount of these events. So uh, you are not going to uh, leave your cash sitting there just to wait that time passes by. So you will need to uh, perform a certain amount of uh, uh, trading in your, in your account. The second uh, kind of penalty is related to the tools, the financial tools you're going to use. So if you're a trader that is uh, used to buy and sell stocks because you know a predetermined stock, for example, I mean, you're, what we have seen uh, in these three weeks uh, that the most traded stock was Apple. Uh, everybody knows Apple, everybody likes Apple. So uh, you are trading a lot this security. However, it's not going to be um, uh, priced the guy who will make the most money out of Apple trading. Uh, Just as be, an example, I would say. Of course. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, the point is that you're going to, you, you have to use uh, at least uh, a certain amount of uh, financial tools. So if you use less than two different tools, so uh, you use at least uh, CFDs and options or CFDs and futures or Forex and futures, whatever, uh, you need to use at least two kinds of uh, financial instruments in order to uh, be 100% uh, priced. Otherwise, you will be somehow penalized in your final, uh, in your final uh, evaluation. And the okay. evaluation is just penalizing percentage depending on how much you didn't do what we asked you to do. Okay, may, may, may we add something maybe involving uh, Emilio, Eleonora, or, or David, or, or anybody uh, regarding yes. the inputs, uh, I mean, uh, the, the, the kind of events players will gonna face uh, is there anything we can already mention about that? Yes, I would like to add an aspect of uh, to consider about the penalties and about the events. Uh, the events description, so what may happen, will have um, all the details that could, should be considered in order to of course, cover your position and also in order to uh, not take any penalty. So it's important to focus on all the details. I will not spoil anything, but uh, everyone will focus on the description, on the amounts and uh, all uh, that it will be reported in the event text 
uh, you can use it. You can use it to win. You can use it to understand how to cover because this is the first most important point and how to trade on uh, the correct asset classes, on the correct uh, instruments. And uh, this, uh, I think, is important that uh, any participant uh, focus on. Eleonora, would you like to add something? Uh, yeah, uh, you will not have only normal events, normal input, but pay attention because there are some glitches, some uh, unattended events, some uh, something that um, will change uh, your behavior. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I can uh, mix you probably an example of, of some input, but uh, it's not so difficult to um, to imagine what they can be uh, because you are the treasurer of a manufacturing company and uh, you have relationship with all over the world. So uh, all over the world, uh, there is no all euro and uh, uh, some, some science is a manufacturing company. You to do something, so you have to... Um, by That's okay. Material, That's okay. We, we, we don't uh, want to spoil that that, that much. Let, let, let's let's give let's have the game, okay? So we uh, it's true that we have many people attending the live webinar. Those might be the ones that have get some more info. Um, I I'd like to share with you some other questions since uh, in 15 minutes will be um, our time will be off. Uh, I will anyhow suggest to the uh, to the people watching the webinar, please share your questions. The team will keep answering you, even not live, but just by commenting. So don't feel, uh, don't be shy. Keep questioning everything you have in your mind. This is an ask us anything. We are trying to work uh, live. Uh, we, the guy in the video, uh, but even the team is answering, okay, in the chat panel. So you will see some question, some answer to your question appearing there. A couple of uh, uh, questions more. We have Ferdinando asking, I would like to share two of them that are related with the particular moment we are living in. Um, there was a question about short selling. Many people are asking about short selling. Uh, so please uh, keep in touch with this answer. And the concept, the creed that blocked that option for the Italian market in general, does the platform allow us to short sell? I've tried, but without success. Thank you. Who wants to answer? Guys, you there? Uh, concept, uh, yeah, can you hear me? Eduardo. Yes, please. Yes, yes, we can hear yeah? you. Yeah, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, as I said, uh, Consob uh, banned a short selling for three months. So at the moment, the platform uh, banned the short selling too. So it's not possible to uh, short sell uh, uh, financial instrument uh, impacted by this, this ban. So, uh, well, CFD is on index. Uh, uh, index future and uh, CFD on uh, on uh, shares. Okay, hope uh, uh, hope it's clear to 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 everybody. I think so. The uh, there was another question from uh, our friend Elia asking, how does it work for investment in ETF ETF and therefore their management costs? Always for you, Eduardo, or anybody else. Uh, can you repeat, Enrico, because uh, the connection is not stable, so... <laughs> yeah, sorry, I will read it again. How does it work for investments in ETF and therefore their management costs? Uh, well, um, it's like uh, every other platform, so you can trade the uh, ETF and ETC and the ETN with the connected uh, uh, management costs, so it's like uh, every every other platform uh, itself. Okay. Um, all right. The uh, we uh, keep uh, we, we we keep uh, suggesting you to the people watching the webinar to post your question in the uh, Facebook chat. Again, we'll be live many many more chances in the next days during the challenge week. Uh, those last hours are the one goods if you want to uh, register to this uh, reply and Banca Generali and MIP Polytechnico di Milano investment challenge. What do you have? To 
to do is just to um, uh, visit challenges.reply.com platform and uh, uh, sign in in order to play with us. Sign up, sorry, in order to play with us. Um, I would like to uh, be back to the... Um, yeah, I mean, we, we are already collecting some questions. Uh, what we can... Um, yeah, I would like to read another one from our friend Luca, who is asking, in your opinion, which performance in percentage, in percentage uh, sorry, miss it, um, which performance in percentage could be considered acceptable as a good result, uh, I would say? Sorry, Enrico, I'm not sure I got the question. I think it, 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 as a matter of result at the end of the day of the challenge, which would be a good result in terms of uh, acceptable, I would say, in terms of uh, the, the time we are living in. So uh, which kind of results might be good, let me say? Can we Tough question. make a prediction? Yeah, I mean, uh, you cannot make a prediction, especially with this volatility. Uh, if I were in normal uh, situation, I would say who uh, gains more. Uh, I don't know if in these days I might say also who uh, losses less. Uh, <laughs> That's a point. <laughs> uh, but generally speaking, uh, what I would say is that uh, there's always the chance to take profit from volatility. Always. So okay. my expectation okay. is to have an increase in overall wealth of the company. Okay, okay, that that that's uh, that's an answer. I would say that uh, I mean, uh, in a wise way, the, the the players have to have to follow. We have another question from Lorenzo asking, uh, "Hi there, can you explain the difference between orders and positions?" I use position and I found myself pretty comfortable with that, but I cannot say the same for orders. Why, when you place an order, you cannot take profit automatically like with positions? Up to you guys. Part of the question, can you repeat? Yes, again, sorry. Um, can, you sorry. Can, you, can you explain us the difference between orders and positions? I use position and I found myself pretty comfortable with that, but I cannot say the same for orders. Why, when you place an order, you cannot take profit automatically, like with positions? You get it, guys, or not? Yeah, I guess Eduardo has some... I'm, I'm copying for Eduardo the question on the common chat, so we can uh, give a proper read at the question and maybe having an answer. Um, well, keeping uh, collecting questions from the people attending the webinar right now, uh, please feel free to question everything. This isn't ask us anything. I see Eduardo connecting again, so it will take a second to, to have him back. We still have uh, kind of 10 minutes to uh, answer all the questions appearing right now. Um, again, I would like to remind you to uh, sign up on challenges.reply.com in order to play with us. Uh, the game will start on March the 30th till April the 9th, and then we'll have the final round with the best of you on April the 24th. The, uh, the final will be, again, an online game uh, because of the situation we are living in. You, for sure you know it. Um, I see that people are already... I mean, I see Simone answering to the question we shared uh, a minute before. Um, I will read you another question that is from Riccardo okay. about penalty. What is meant by derivatives asset classes? Could you make some example? Eduardo, are you back with us? Yeah, maybe I can uh, I can answer to the question before because uh, we yes, were saying that uh, okay yeah we were saying that uh, it's not possible to place uh, uh, to place um, stops or uh, uh, take profit on uh, orders. This is not um, completely true because if you open uh, a position, you can still place a stop or a take in the position itself. Or if you place uh, an order, then you can also uh, place uh, um, a stop or uh, take profit uh, directly on uh, the uh, on the order itself. But um, well, uh, if you can repeat uh, the last question, yes, we were talking, give we were me talking a second. About... Yes, yes, I'm giving, I'm giving yeah, sure. back there. Uh, 
um, what is meant by derivatives asset classes? Could we make some examples out of it? For sure. Uh, at the moment in the platform are available different uh, uh, derivative asset classes. For example, we say CFDs, contracts for different, as Paolo, Paolo said, and uh, futures, options, uh, Forex. Uh, Forex uh, is uh, in uh, three different, uh, comes in three different ways uh, in uh, under form of uh, spot Forex, spot FX, uh, forward FX, or uh, option FX. So uh, talking about uh, talking, talking about edging, uh, for sure, forward and uh, FX option are the best uh, instruments to uh, perform this kind of, uh, of things. Okay, and uh, um, we have another question in, in this uh, row of acronyms. Oh, sorry, Enrico. Enrico, just Please, to be Paolo, yes. completely sure that uh, the point got uh, understood uh, about the asset classes for uh, considered for penalties, because what Eduardo presented is completely, uh, of course, correct. It's related to the general uh, asset classes available. For our purposes, we reduce the number of the classification uh, in terms of number of asset classes, uh, just to make things easier also for the participants. Uh, Eleonora, would you like to summarize the different classes that we identified for uh, this competition? Uh, yeah, um, the assets are uh, a CFD mainly and options. Um, I think that on the website you can uh, find the, the exactly list. Um, we, we are you still there? Yeah. We are missing yeah. you, probably. Yeah, but however, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, sorry. Yeah, I would say that the the mainly mainly class should be uh, CFD and options. Okay, okay. I guess we 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 answered the question, Paolo. Is there anything you want to add? No, no, no. Uh, in the in the uh, in the website, we specified the the, the exact numbers of uh, the, the the list of the uh, asset classes that we uh, classified. So just to be sure that everybody has in mind them: futures, options, CFDs, stocks, bonds, etc. All right, all right. Those are the. Um, I would like to underline again that those are even all the acronyms and in general the aspects of the investments that might be not. So clear to people that might be a bit newbie in this uh, uh, in this scenario, uh, as David has said already before, are part of the learning uh, aspect of this challenge. David, would you like to add something related to the the, the learning materials available on the platform and the many ways in which yeah. even students can approach this? Um, when, it comes, yeah, when it comes to the learning material, uh, I think one of the good things you can find uh, is that these materials are not the same. They are different from topics, they are different from difficulties and for forms. So you can choose your most suitable uh, learning material. And I, I can say that you can decide how much you want go, to go deeper into the question. Because even if you are not uh, so an expert, but you are passionate and you want to try and participate to this challenge, you will find something that is much more basic and you will find something that is also maybe not in a usual form. So you will find something that maybe is a reference to a movie or is a much more uh, of an article, or you will find uh, more uh, traditional, we can say, work uh, pieces, uh, like a glossary, like a slides, uh, and you can balance uh, what you want and you, of course, uh, the more you train, the more you learn, the, the more you will be able to compete uh, in high level during this challenge. Yes, yes, I, I completely agree. Of course, the again, the investment challenge as part of the reply challenges platform is a way, most of all, to have fun together, 
play with us and compete on something that is part of your passion, like I would say, part of the, the things you like the most. Um, Marco is asking us, maybe the last question of this Ask Us Anything uh, session is say, to sum up, do you assign to each player a different organization profile, so different agenda, or are we free to do our actions? You're completely free. Uh, as we said, it's uh, within the managerial style and managerial strategy uh, that uh, each one of you, of each one of the participants, uh, would like to adopt. So, as in real life, you are free to choose your uh, your best strategy in order to hedge uh, your position and, when possible, to take advantage of the market volatility. Okay, so we, uh, I hope we answer to, uh, to Marco and to all other questions appearing. Again, you will free to uh, ask us anything during this live channel. Anyhow, we'll keep monitoring the, the live chat so we can answer even right after the end of this session uh, to all your questions. Uh, since we are approaching the end of this uh, webinar, let me say we can have a brief round of... Uh, Last suggestion for the players who are uh, approaching the game. I would like to start uh, with uh, uh, Emilio. Would you like to, to give the players a last suggestion? Yes, I have one. Um, and it's related to the, uh, to the learning portal. I would like only to say that there are a lot of tips and tricks to support the players in the, during the phases. So I don't want to add anything else, but on the learning page, there are a lot of useful concepts that you, that you can use. So use it. Learning aspect, I would say so. And uh, um, Eleonora, moving to you, last, last sentence, last words for the, for the people who are approaching the channel, the challenge. Yeah, uh, science, uh, you will know in advance when the inputs will, be, uh, will appear, will be shown on the reply uh, platform. Uh, maybe organize your day. Uh, to see uh, in the most uh, fast way uh, the event. And um, uh, moreover, in the morning, you uh, receive even an email with the time of the uh, appear of the event. And you receive a specific email for um, unattended uh, events, so for glitch. Uh, for the, um, in, but in general, you, if you enter, if you look into, if you uh, monitor the reply page uh, uh, in the section that uh, is, is called your challenge, uh, you will have everything there uh, on Monday. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, times in the morning, you uh, will know in advance when the input will be available in that day. Uh, try to enter uh, to read the email in the morning and uh, organize your day accordingly to the event, to the input uh, um, uh, appear on the, yeah, the, the on the, the ones page. arriving. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, Eleonora. I will move to Eduardo for a last uh, advice to the uh, to the challengers ready to play. Well, to the investor, to the challengers, I can say that uh, on the website of BG Saxo, that uh, www.bgsaxo.it, you can find uh, uh, the, the manual of the platform of the BG Saxo Trader Go into the BG Saxo Trader Go web, uh, web page. Thank you very much, Eduardo. And of course, thank you to all the guys from Banca Generali involved in the realization of this uh, uh, challenge. I will uh, close the loop with uh, Mr. Paolo Fabris. Paolo, your final words for the uh, more than 8,000 people registered and ready to play with us uh, starting from Monday. I would say that probably this is one of the single positions where you can take some risk. I mean, this is blue money. Uh, you're not uh, risking anything at all, but your final price, which is quite important, actually. But uh, if you had to take some risk, dare it now. Okay, thank you very much for uh, 
of course, these final thoughts and for participating in this first webinar. Thank you very much to Davide, of course, too. Uh, from me, Enrico, part of the Reply Challenges team, uh, that's all for this first webinar. Uh, thank you, Paolo, of course, Eduardo, Eleonora, and Emilio. We'll be back. So keep, uh, uh, stay tuned with us on uh, Reply U Facebook page, and of course, on all the other, or all the other social media channels. Uh, visit challenges.reply.com to stay with us. And of course, last hours to register and from monday uh, game is on thank you very much guys see you next goodbye you all stay strong and safe of course ciao goodbye <laughs> good, luck. good luck good luck everybody ah, good goodbye luck. ciao Bye.